Hi there, I'm Stu G and I have used the lava cable tightrope system uh, for wiring up my pedal boards for about the last year or so um, and I'm absolutely thrilled um, with how they work and the quality. Um, I haven't had a problem with one single connection um, in all that time and um, I'm sitting in a hotel room in Alaska and uh, I just thought I'd show you how to make off uh, one of the ends. Um, so this is going to be a patch cable and I've already got one end made off so um, uh, I don't have the uh, lava cable tool with me but um, I've got my Swiss Army knife and a pair of scissors uh, so um, I'll show you how to do it. So about a centimetre down and I'll lightly go around the outside insulation and um, take that off to reveal the the screen in there and uh, so I'm peeling that back and I'm gonna twist that round like this okay I'm gonna trim it just to make it neat like that and then bend that down like that so then uh, I'm gonna strip down to the inner core which is a solid core. And I'm going to cut that so that it's probably about four millimeters, something like that. Okay. Now, one thing that uh, you do have to be careful of is that this black kind of outer um, sleeving is a is conductive material. So we have to strip that off. Um, so we just have to be very light in our touch. To, to do that because we don't want to go right the way through to the, uh, to the core. So I just nick a little piece like this and then just peel it off because I've gone, I've scored it all the way around like that. Okay. So there we are. We have, uh, that's ready to do up. Now, the, um, the plug itself um, screws onto the inner cable. The inner, the inner core there is a solid core, and um, oops, and uh, you just put it in there. Okay, give it a couple of turns, and uh, the way that you uh, can tell if it's um, if it's if it's correct or not is you just give it a slight pull, and it won't come off. Um, then you know that that's. Uh, inserted in there correctly. Um, I then just bend it over a little bit like that so that I can get the end cap on and then you screw the jack plug into the end cap and what that is doing is screwing onto the core even further and you have a really solid little patch cable. So when I used to use the mini ELCs I would always carry a multimeter around with me so I could measure the insulation resistance between the the, the grounding and the the the, the center core. Um, but uh, I don't have to do that with this because uh, I know that if with those first couple of turns, if it doesn't pull off, then we have a solid connection, and uh, they sound amazing, and they will not fail you.